Hi friends and welcome back all. Uh, so yes, let's see about uh, Ratan India Power Limited. Yes, I know many of my friends would have been having this basic doubt whether uh, the rent that we saw, saw or saw on in Ratan India Power Limited is over. As well as I just want to cover about uh, some points regarding Ratan India Enterprise also in this video because I think it is a bit of important that we have a connection between these two companies at this point of time. Right, I have covered about many things I mean, earlier, but I just want to link a common parcel between these both companies. Right, and after the results from 5 rupees up to 10 rupees, not exactly 10 rupees, 9.99. I mean, the day what I said that when I said before this share reaching 9.99, the simple stance I said was going to 9.99 is not important, opening at 9.99 is not important, trading at 9.9 is also important. But closing at 9.99 opens the way for double digit mark. But all we expected, but it did happen. Basically, the market was also was also volatile at that moment. So basically, it was not good enough to assume that okay, the momentum is over. Friends, we need to understand this thing. I think if you have traveled with me for almost this one year when we started at two rupees, right? The share first after reaching to the share gone up to 4.5 or 4.2 or something. Then the share cut up to 3 rupees. Then 3 rupees to 5 rupees, it taken almost 2 or 3 months. I mean, after this quarter 2, quarter 3 results. And once the quarter 4 results showed, started showing promise, the share jumped from 5 to 10 rupees. Now, what you are witnessing here is that each and every price momentum double, there is a higher top as well as a higher bottom formation that is happening. And I mean, basically, we can't compare it through a technical analysis, or I don't want to compare using these technical terms. But we clearly noticed a chart pattern of Northern India power over a period of time almost make it take as one year. Whenever the share has reached higher, higher highs, the share also has made them made higher bottoms. I mean, this is evident from this point of fact. And as I said to you, why I just want to involve Ratan India Enterprise also here is if we notice one thing two days back, Ratan India Enterprise said that they are incorporating a subsidiary company in foreign also. In, in foreign in any country so which means it is very very important point in the view of company's perspective but then why did Ratan India enterprise share also gone down the one of the reason was since Ratan India power limited the promoter is Ratan India enterprise limited the valuation fall in Ratan India power limited is also impact the valuation holding of Ratan India enterprise limited also that is also one of the factor and second thing when a share can move from 2 rupees to 50 rupees in a stance or maybe ups and downs here and there then why can't people book a profit of almost 10 or 20 percent i think it's really evident and it is it is not safe to assume that he, after touching the share stretching 9.99 there is the game is over the share is going to reach again three or four rupees i believe the share is going to reach or reach again three or four rupees from the level that was it is pretty it has been trading years back i think it could be a beautiful buying opportunity for me also i i believe so if the share is going to again for this because one of the greatest point i am having with me is the margin of safety what is that the promoter has converted 43 crores at 10 rupees at premium compared to the market price so if, if he is ready to convert the share at 10 rupees so he is believing that the company should be valued at 10 rupees for per se i am not saying it should be valued maybe it, it could it could value higher also that if I can be able to trade within this discount level that is from 6 rupees to 10 rupees having the discount level, I am having a margin of safety of 4 rupees. I think this is what I also said that day also. And also I just also focusing on the business. And if you see they also said in the last 12 months or last few, maybe few months, they have already paid 1200 crores of debt and they are made prepayment of loans also which thereby reduces the future interest cost as well as the interest rate has also been reduced. I mean, if you take at a wholesome perspective, each and everything is happening normally in the market. Yes, I too feel the what to say the impact of the share damage, the share has faced. Just almost reducing for almost four days, people are just, just like that, uh, maybe shattered. And maybe I believe it, it could be a shakeout momentum because before any big up move. And I think since the good things, if it is going to happen. We could see Ratan India Power Limited reaching a billion dollar valuation in the days coming by. I mean, let me confirm. I think the market capital right now stands in the range of almost 4,000 crores. 
first of all when i started i believe the company's market cap was 1200 crores so i said that i'm expecting 2500 crores of market cap then it crossed up to 3500 crores now i am saying that i believe based upon what has happened over the period of time and uh, if if we can get a good buying opportunity again i believe the market starts to witness it again we can able to see a billion dollar market capital in ratna india power limited also so basically it was, it was just a profit booking momentum or a shake out momentum before any before any big breakout to start soon i think this is evident from what we have seen in many shares i mean i if you see on the same day both susan energy as well as uh, ratna india power limited failed to reach the double digit both of the shares follow the same day but i believe after two days of fall susan break the lowest again and it has started to move up but main many people are focusing on ratna power because it is evident that after rising this much level there is there would be an indirect impact for ratna india power limited as well as, well as for ratna india enterprise so basically just wait and watch the game i believe and the business is going to be good and the management is trying to believe or improve the company because their stake is also involved in their total holding if their corporate valuation should get improved then they should improve the company and this is so simple logic that we could able to understand from what is happening behind the screens thank you friends and bye